In this video, we are continuing our adventures into how to get the most out of ChatGPT and how to rank on Google. Everything we are talking about can be found in this playlist right here. This is my most up-to-date playlist with everything you need from A to B to rank on Google. In this video, we're going to be using a slightly more advanced technique, and it is also a paid technique. Welcome to Stun Spot Prompting. Um, this is a prompting discord, which I've been part of basically since they had 200 members. They now have almost 8,000 members and a lot of people really, really like the prompts here. When you join, you will have to verify with your phone and there will be another verification method. But once you're inside, you can, first of all, you can use the prompt free right here without having to pay anything. These are all completely free. Um, this isn't what we're going to be doing in this video, but for example, you could use this in idea generator right here instead of the prompt I'm going to be using in this video, which costs $4.99, I think, per month to use. Let me just check that, actually. So if you do want to subscribe, you should go to Patreon and click on their link to their Patreon. And yeah, it's actually three euros a month, so that's fine. That's like hardly anything to get access to a really, really good and powerful prompt like the one in this video. So because I am a paid member or because they gave me paid membership, which is a pretty good marketing move by them, I must say, um, I have access to Stun's Prompts Tier 1. And I was looking through this today and I actually found one that I really, really liked and I've been trying it out and it gives amazing ideas for blog posts. So as usual, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to this time show you how to verify whether a keyword is worth doing or not. So once you're here, click on your prompt that you want to use and then press download and then open it up, control A, and then just control V it straight into ChatGPT4. Okay, so again, you're going to have to be paying for ChatGPT+. You can use it in the playground as well. Basically, what this does is it gives ChatGPT a pers persona okay and this in this case the persona is spider jerusalem interesting name and um yeah basically what i can say here is please give me 20 ideas for articles or blog posts in classic menswear so what we're going to do is we're going to see <laughs> such a weird Ways are right. We're going to see how good these actually are by comparing articles on Ahrefs that already exist. Okay, so we're, I'm going to open up Ahrefs. You can also use Google Ads Keyword Planner for this, but in this particular case, Ahrefs is going to work a little bit more. So some of these are okay, but I'm not really massive fan of any of these so far. When I ran this earlier, it did give me one that I really, really liked. So I mean, if this doesn't necessarily give me one that I like, we'll go with that one from before. Okay, so Lapel Logic here. This is actually a really, really good article uh, that I've never done. So we'll, what we can do is to verify the niche, let's go on Keyword Explorer and say Notch Lapel, which is one of the main keywords from the article. And then what we can do is we can look for something like this, the must-read guide to suit lapels. Pete versus Notch versus Shawl, which is exactly the article that is being um, submitted, that's being suggested right here. Lapel Logic, Notch, Peach, and Shawl. So what we can do is we can click here, and we can click on Organic Keywords, and we can see what kind of traffic we could expect if we wrote a similar article. So I can see volume here is not great. I mean, it's not terrible. I, this would be worth writing for sure. And this article is from 2017, it looks like. So it's from ages and ages ago. So definitely some potential right here. The main reason I wouldn't write this immediately, and the main reason I haven't written it yet, is simply because we don't have um, the labels, lapels. I don't even know what the plural is. The labels of our suits are not noted in the description or in the title. So it'd be incredibly difficult for me to write an, an article in this niche and actually rank and find these suits that we are selling. So I guess mainly what we sell uh, would be either notched or short now, probably be notched. So I could write this article and put mainly these, these suits, 
We do sell Tom Ford, which is famous for having a peak lapel. So yeah, I could definitely make this work. And this is a good article. And it has a lot of searches per month overall. Okay, so let's say give me another 20 here. And then if we can't get any that are really, really good, um, then I will go with the one that I kind of basically discovered before. So yeah, the timeless appeal of the white shirt, that's fine. Bow ties, grooming for the classic man, that's something I haven't done, but definitely should. Muffler and scarf, seersucker is a very good fabric, which would be very popular and is very popular. So again, let's, uh, let's, let's see this. So let's go on Keywords Explorer, search for seersucker. It's a type of cotton, in case you're not aware of that. It's like, um, yeah, I, I can't really describe the type of cotton I'll show you instead, I guess. Yeah, it's like this. Like they make shirts from it as well. It's a really, really nice material. Let's see how many organic keywords. 417, traffic value 5,000. That's a big keyword, so that would definitely be worth making. Men's bags from briefcases to modern satchels. We have everything, so that would be really, really good. The linen love affair. This would be really, really good for us. We sell a lot of linen. Dressing for black tie events is one of the biggest keywords in this niche, so I'm really, really happy that it's bringing it up. The Chronicles of Corduroy. We've just received a lot of Corduroy at work, so this would actually be really, really useful to um, to write this article. Um, I'm just looking at all these other ones. They all seem fine. They're, they are really, really good niches, and they all have very, very high searches per month, which is the important thing. So just before we end this video, I've shown you pretty much everything you need to know. I just wanted to show you this one right here that it actually came up with. Blazers versus sports coats. This is not only an amazing idea for my website or the website I work for, it's just an incredibly good keyword, okay? So let's type in sports coats on Google. You can see 6.2 thousand, 43 thousand total traffic potential, which is huge. What is a sports coat? It's a type of blazer that's um, a little bit more sporty, a little bit younger, a little bit more modern, and you normally do not wear it with matching trousers. Um, so we sell a lot of these. These are currently the most popular types of blazers that are being sold in the world. People do not buy suits anymore. They actually buy sports coats. So what's the point of me telling you that? The point is I haven't seen this suggestion from any other method except this one right here. There are some other really nice ones here from sheet to suit, the journey of wool in menswear. And you can see this is the main difference in the prompt that I gave it. Instead of just saying, give me 20, I said, give me 20 high traffic blog post ideas for a classic menswear multi-brand store. And I think that's why the results were actually a lot better here, because it's trying to give me ideas of item, of blog posts that will lead to sales or to buyer keywords. So this one right here, blazers versus sports coats, I'm actually going to be writing this tomorrow. I already know this is a huge niche right here. So what I want to see, I want to see if I can find uh, a sports coat versus blazer article. I want to see what kind of um, traffic we can expect. So I'm just going to write blazer here as well. Go back onto Keyword Explorer. We'll do that again. Search that. I just want to find um, an article that we can use. Okay, so I just used one of the websites that I was already looking at. I'm just going to use their um, article right here. It's not huge, 781 keywords, but I mean, I could do with this on my website, 1,300 extra traffic per month for something that doesn't honestly take that long to write, especially with ChatGPT. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you want to learn more about writing with ChatGPT and also finding keywords with ChatGPT and just basically ranking on Google with ChatGPT, there will be a playlist in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to try out Stunspot prompting, you can just type in Stunspot prompting and then Discord on Google. And this should bring up this page right here, which is the Discord server. Then just press join, make an account, verify, verify inside their Discord. And then if you want, you can pay for the prompt that I used in this video. Or you can just try and use the free ones if you prefer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.